You know, when I was in New York, recently, I was talking to a friend of mine on the other coast. And I sensed an urgency in his voice that I'd never heard before. I said, baby, you sound down. What's going on? He said, it just seems these days when I need anybody, they're not around. I said, you know what? Hang in there. I'm going to get right back to you. Well, I hung up and I made myself a reservation, a late night reservation on MGM Grand Airways, a late night flight into LA. And I got in and I rented myself a Mercedes convertible. And I was driving up Mulholland and I popped into Trader Joe's and picked up a chilled bottle of Cristal. And I got to his door and I knocked hard several times and he didn't answer right away. And there was a moment that I panicked, that I thought he'd done something rash. But when he finally came to the door, I'd never seen him look worse. I said, Mr. You look like hell. He grabbed me. He was so happy to see me. I said, I just want you to know something. If you should ever need me, I'll be here in a hurry. On that you can depend. And baby, please, don't ever worry. butcher block kitchen table, eating cold chicken and Mrs. Fields' chocolate chip cookies. And I was quiet for a while, but then I finally turned to him and said, look, nobody ever promised you it was going to be easy being celebrity communists, and I know Gary Hart let you down. Who the hell didn't he disappoint over and over? But mister, if this is about Ishtar, I'm getting up right now and walking out of your life forever, because that's too self-indulgent for even me. And he grabbed me by the wrist and hurt me and said, no, I said, listen, if you should ever need me, I'll be here in a hurry On that you can depend And never worry No wind No wind Or winter storm Can't stop me, baby 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 If you should call And then we went for that long walk down the hallway to his bedroom, where we sat on crisp white linen protese sheets. We smoked grass and talked. We did some ecstasy and talked a lot more. We talked about the state of mankind, the decline of Western civilization, and what the hell we were going to do to stop it. And just when I got so depressed, I felt like I was going to have a nervous breakdown. He rolled me over and started kissing me, like he hadn't kissed me in years. And I wanted that man. I wanted him inside of me. But all of a sudden, I said, stop. Do you have any rubbers? Would you mind putting one on? While you're at it, make it two. And I would feel just a little bit better if you would apply some spermicidal jams and jellies to the area. Oh, baby, it's no reflection on how much I care about you. We all know you've been around. I stopped in the name of love. But I just want you to know, 